the fair wolf again, if I know the false, you have a freedom. Men and women of good will, people of conscience around the globe, I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and to some of you, good night, depending on your time zone. As always, this is Radio Biafra Extra, and we are streaming live through Biafra Human Rights and Freedom Radio. A platform who is here to defend the overall interest of the people of Biafra in this last outpost. It is minded by the de facto customary government and of course supervised by the Biafra Nation Alliance. I want to specially appreciate every pro-Biafran group who are doing the needful by identifying with the de facto customary government. And I swear, how can I forget to appreciate those who with different ideology but still standing to salvage all that is left of us as a people. I am George Winnie and I hear from our Delta State, uh, Biafra Land. And of course, this uh, few days, uh, different technical challenges, but we can only get better. We understand what is actually trying to play out, but in the end, we will win. I appreciate the Almighty Creator who has set our feet upon this path that we must follow. For without Him, we are gone as a people. And as always, without wasting much of our time, we will go and look at some of the issues that they affect us as a people. A lot of things has been going on, which will eventually usher us into a different stage. We are evolving politically. We are evolving in every other way known to man. But most of us are not observing it. Most of us are not yet able to visage what is to come. Like I said, so many uh, one or two technical challenges. But the rest are sure will always emerge victoriously in the end. Just give me some time and let me see what the issue is this time around. Just some minutes, just a few minutes, the enemy are not resting and the people of God certainly we are not going to give up on this quest. We are not going to back down. We are not going to submit. We are not going to shy away from our responsibility. We will stand and defend Biafra in its last outpost. Okay, let's go. Our topic this evening I will want us to look at is something I entitled... Southeast must get ready for another stage of insecurity. If the leadership succumb to the blackmail on Ibugago, the people of Southeast must get ready for another stage of insecurity. And this will only be made possible if the leadership or the leaders within the Southeast territory, Biafra land, succumb to the black men on Ibubago. If you succumb, get ready for another stage of insecurity. This is not by way of threatening or putting fear into anybody, but we are the watchmen. If not what we are doing now, what other thing are we supposed to do? What other things are we supposed to do except we are protecting our people? For almost a week now, we have been discussing about the 14 youth that were killed in Imo State. What should come to your mind first of all is, why is this 14 dead taking over every discussion regarding Biafra? It is just like on daily basis, blacks are being killed in America and elsewhere around the world. But then the death of one George Floyd hit the social media. 
And that is because people of interest are involved. Somewhere along the line, they must make their message pass through. 14 persons were killed. And ever since we have been hearing different stories, Ibubago have killed, Ibubago have killed, Ibubago have killed, Ibubago have killed, we will kill Ibubago, give us Ibubago leader, we give you 20 million, and the same people killing us. We are testament to this fact. And the same people telling you, it's Ibubago, it's Ibubago. I'm not from the southeast, but just like my governor, Efan Yukowa said, my identity where I come from as an Igbo man is not in question. And it doesn't make me less an Igbo man if I am carved in the south-south. But when you are doing something that is wrong, we tell you. Did I say Biafra land is going to get ready for another stage of insecurity? No. There is insecurity already and we are addressing it. You will hear the update very soon. But of course, because of compromised element within the Southeast, because most people, our brothers in the villages, they are buying it already. You must kill a bubago, you must do a bubago this. Why would it be so? Because somewhere along the line, those people now the cannot have betrayed. Most people now the cannot are looking for how to kill them because they know the truth. Majority of them are part of a bubago. But let's not go that way. Let's go back to our discussion this evening so that you will be able to appreciate the reason why I say you should get ready for another stage of insecurity. The current arising issue regarding IPOB blackmail on uh, a Bubago, people should understand how Nandekano and his IPOB function. When you begin to hear issues like that, know that IPOB have agenda they want to open up. You don't know. Let me give you an example. When Nande Kano started romancing with politicians, we knew something was not right. All of you doing Biafra agitation, check from the day now the canoe begin to romance with politicians it has told us that they are our problem what is romance with our peter obi what is romance with will you what is romance with our article you have forgotten the watchmen don't forget from that day we were sealed all of us were delivered all of us were documented we are still feeling the impact he knew the watchman will not allow him to ram in Mutale. And what does he have to do? He now recruit this autopilot. He go do me go do. He do kingdom. Agada me gada. Ndi ada highway. Now you fool you see me on a group of comments. He recruited all of them. Most of you have forgotten. And then I told you, these are the people you should look into. Because in their heart of hearts, nobody have the gods to question their integrity. But then we know that when they are confronted, when you investigate them further to see the level and the makeup of their integrity, their hypocrisy is exposed without fear. We are just starting. But I want you to get the truth because most of you are saying, Oh, living on the canal, I must say, if Funan the canal did not betray us, we will be arranging on how to go our separate way because it will end in dialogue. The Yoruba cannot be left to go alone, wandering in the wilderness, without somewhere to start from. The Hausa, despite any hatred we have for them, will not be fair to let them go away, despite anything. And of course, there are many Biafrans who don't want to be Biafrans. You cannot incorporate them into the very system that they don't want or they despise. There are a lot of this negotiation that is supposed to go on. That is why most people who are agitating and calling for get involvement in current politics, we are not antagonizing you. We are not against you. We encourage you to get your PVC and do the needful among other people. But then all of a sudden, the Kano having discussed with our politicians and then having sealed us, they now properly documented us, they now deliver us. Not all of you saw what was coming. When initiated the media warrior, most of them should be on the page now, talking rubbish. 
he didn't see what was happening. The day I know now the canal and their agitation is over was the day Jesus Christ visited the Yibo woman inside the tomb in America. You people don't even read the handwriting on the wall. Now, there is something God tell you who I told me. I don't want to say it. Let me bring in the prophetess. One single mother, Yoruba woman. I don't even know now the canoe sleep with single Yoruba woman. I thought it's only single Biafran women. Very disgraceful. And then the woman now told you on Radio Biafra where we worship. I was in the bedroom. As I want to naked, Jesus Christ now called me. And he now told me that we must remain in one Nigeria. Go and play that audio. IPOB replaying now the kind of fraudulent brokers. Replay when Jesus Christ visited the Yoruba woman inside the bedroom in America. And let's see if you will not be ashamed. Go and listen to that brokers and let's see if you will not see how stupid you are. And then the next time we want to talk about it, Nandekanu told you, Oh, I give you an order. If you talk about that woman or insult the family of that woman, because we saw they were Yoruba politicians. These things we are doing, we know who our enemies are. We know those who are after us. Some of our politicians are involved. Some Nigerians are involved. Some of our misguided brothers are involved. We have to even fight to defend ourselves from our family members. We know all these things. Be ready. The rest are sure we are ready for it. If you are an Igbo man, you are listening to the sound of my voice. You are married to Yoruba, it's not my business. In Yoruba born for you, it's not my business. Your papa come from Yoruba, it's not my business. I'm never against any of that. But when it comes to the overall Yoruba agenda, you Igbo man, you put your life in the hand of Yoruba, you are dead. It's just a matter of time. You will wake up from that illusion. Am I telling you Yoruba people are bad? No. Yoruba are Yoruba and they want to remain Yoruba. Leave them alone. Only go free one in there. Oh, you don't understand? Leave Yoruba alone. Europeans are Europeans. No matter what you do, colonialism in guise of terrorism, in the guise of colonialism, will remain. Everything they have stolen from you, it will never be returned. And when it looks useless to them, they tell you about oh, is it preparation or be repatriation. How do they speak that English? But that is not where we are going to. But I'm trying to point out to you signals because the moment IPOB has taken it upon themselves to condemn a cross section of Igbo under the guise of a bubago, they are going to kill innocent people the same way they are killing innocent people thinking they are unknown government. IPOB getting involved. There is something they are looking for. But most of you have forgotten. And so when the cannon started threatening the Bubago, we know where all this we're going to. But we're also fully aware that not all our people understand. That is why we have to be very sensitive in a time like this. The game has just begun. And the cannon will fight so hard to cover his atrocity. But it's not going to go away with it. It's a promise, not a threat. China Sangoru, Chimi Onekpa, they can be deceiving you and you are falling for the Mugu. They will soon do fundraising. Please save your money. Give the security to defend us. Give to, give to, to give security. Because you cannot be able to discern what is happening. Let us look at the issue of Ebubago, what is happening now, in order to know where this is going to lead us to. It was at the peak of insecurity within the southeast region of Nigeria, Biafra land. An IPOB was at the helm of affair, passing out disinformation of full any invasion of our land, which is partially true. But then projected with false impression. That is deception. They are killing us, they are raping us, they are murdering us. It, it, there are evidence, it does happen. You cannot overrule the issue of Nimbo massacre. Britain will not talk about it. BBC will not have flagged it off on their front pages of their social media. And nobody will talk about it. We know. But the truth now is that the situation is complicated. We don't even know who is killing who. Because Tina Sanwaru is going boys. Tina Sanwaru is going to use his voice. 
to kill Simeon Ekba boys. Simeon Ekba boys is going to use his boys to kill Nani Ofuegu boys. Nani Ofuegu boys is going to use his bomb boys to kill uh, Ada Highway boys. Ada Highway boys is going to look for how to kill. And all of them put together and look for how to kill each MFO and his boys like me. But everything is being revolved around the Nandekano. So nobody know. We have communal crisis going on within a boy state. And so IPOB entered into all these problems. Magnify it. You make it as part of their beating heart. Initiate this horrible process of insecurity. And everybody was fed up. When any Naya Baribe was telling you, I don't know what is killing who and who is killing who, any Naya Baribe, I used to respect you. Just say the truth that will favor another canon, but do not tell the lies that will indict all of us. Because you are as worst as in the canoe the last time I checked. You don't know what is killing evil people. You don't know. Don't worry. They make another broadcast. We are looking into your matter. Very unfortunate. And so the governors of the southeast decide to come together to see how they can comb insecurity. The governors in the south south didn't have this formation to do that. But we came did not relax. River State built up so many security at, uh, 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 platform. This was truly the time when the Fulani carnage was on its peak. River State, for instance, introduced a lot of security outfit. Like us, part to mention but a few. And then the West, as we know, introduced Omoteko just to calm down the atrocities of the Fulani headsmen, Buhari brothers. And then the governors of the south is deemed eight feet and say let's set up a security outfit and now the canoe by every ramification cannot manage security issue for a a, 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 a a sovereign state it can't do that it's not in his place to do that we also manage security outfit from where we come from we don't get involved in anybody's security except we are invited so we know how it functions and so the governors, those who have that authority or mandate to provide security of life and property, came together, inaugurated this Ibubago. Most of you may have forgotten. I understand that one governor was not present at that inauguration, and that is simply because of his affiliation, his romance with Nandekano. But others went on to inaugurate this Ibubago and so if I am not mistaken, Mahi inaugurated a uh, Bubago on the 14th of April 2021. Or thereabouts. But it should be April 2021. And at that very moment, they inaugurated Bubago. Peace and tranquility returned to a born state. But the state is not experiencing any longer what is happening in Anambra anymore. So in the Anambra, I'm now around one day some party, but be romancing within the canoe. Prof, try and see if you in the canoe can be lying for you. Believe me, in the canoe and his group, while Bundi Butaisi will see, Butaisi he will see. Be careful, nobody. The only standing for their personal interest. David Umahi understood this. He put the boys to action. He strategically mapped out a sincere platform. This boy state coordinator then. Now the colonel came on radio and said, That boy is a Lucifer, he's a Luciferian, he's a criminal. The boy that lost almost everything because of this struggle. His wife was poisoned because of this struggle. His house demolished because of this struggle. He's almost useless. And then now the colonel can still come and tell you he's a, he's a, he's a saboteur. He's a Lucifer. Maybe because they told you he collected 10,000. Does the life of the wife worth less than 10,000? That is why you people don't have sense. When you are doing what you are doing, I just look now. But this very platform we are involved it must be built on morality guided by divine principle it cannot be negotiated 
I am not an angel. Don't forget that. So David Uma, he brought out the best of the best and sampled them. Tina Samoru sent his scout there, his bingos. All of them were mesmerized. They knew something is wrong, but it's no longer no go area. And what did they know the canoe do? Because most of you will soon forget, and maybe it's just that way. Let's play the audio. We'll continue from there. <laughs> Down the bathroom, wherever I see you, I don't go there anymore. You will die there. That uniform, that uniform they're putting on. Go and look at all those who are there paying money, salary for six months. That's the way they do. That's the uniform they're wearing. I told you nobody will join you. That the bathroom is not work. If we see you, you are in a bathroom, you are an informant, you will die. I will treat you like a fool. I mean, me a If I see you with that uniform, ask me a bad you will die. I will kill you. And I will search my police state. And I want to want you to know. Anybody asking me a bad guy, I'm going to If I say bad I will kill you. I'm saying it the time now is um, uh, 844, which is, um, should I say, 16 minutes to 9 a.m. in Gafala. Anybody wearing that Ibubago uniform, if you see you outside, will kill you. They're not even Igbo people. They're not even Biafran people. These are policemen recruited from every police station around the zoo to protect the man. That uniform you're wearing that looks like the uniform of, the, of a warder that hasn't received salary for four months. That uniform you're wearing, if we catch you with it, we will kill you. Your eyes will open. In fact, he tells us waiting for you on the other side. What I can I have with the more. This was fools. The deals. You want a little policeman. Why? I think his name is Zip Or is it um how I wait for you? You don't go back, huh? You don't go. You don't know the IBOB, you're only playing with us. Do you know how intelligent we are? You cannot do anything without us. No, you went to you you went and brought a Yoruba policeman to make him a bad girl in 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 a police station to protect you. Anybody wearing a bad uniform, I will kill you. If you join a bad girl, you have signed a death warrant. You will go and die around. Yes. Uh, 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 the same governor Tom said, "We are becoming a banana republic. If we have a president who gets the security agencies order to shoot ourselves." Whoever is having a given seven and the minister of defense came out to say that they cannot sit outside. So who is the commander in chief of the armed forces? You're asking me when I tell you that Buhari is dead in the did you believe me? Did I not tell you that Buhari is dead? How can Buhari give one that you shoot outside? Can anybody carry a let, let us leave him and Buhari. It's a case for another day. But I need you to look that order closely. I will kill you for a bubago in war. But the bubago was just inaugurated. They have barely done anything. They only informed the people of the South is that we have a solution to this insecurity. These our young brothers will be protecting our land. The next day, now the canon went on social media, radio Biafra, and they ranting like an idiot that he is. If we see you that you are a bubago and a boy in one, you are Yoruba, you are Fulani, you are coming Nigerian police telling us you are a bubago. If we see you, you are one, you are not even able. You are Fulani Janja weed. But the bubago they declare wanted now is Igbo man. So why can't we declare those Fulani in a bubago? Those I will say bring out their name, declare them wanted. How will lead the hunt for those people? But in the Igbo, I was a Kuchi. Because it is going on already. Those of you in the diaspora fooling yourself. You think it's just ordinary talk. Your brothers in the village are buying it. That their fellow Igbo brothers are the one killing them. That they answer a bubago. Now the canoe is going to use it to roll out certain issues. We will look at it before the end of this discussion. Because you are not seeing it. We saw all these things. We tried to deal with it internally almost four years. We notice the guy cannot repent. He's just another hopeless idiot. Worse than we have ever seen. 
and then we took our stand but you didn't understand you never get to understand you are just interested in calling us sabotoir, sabotoir. Now I am sabotoir, George Unibi. And when I start the job of sabotoir, to be wish it never happened. These are some of the things that led to Juku inability to restore Biafra. Because the moment they call you sabotoir, it's a death warrant. Can you people tell me the kind of hopeless court that sentenced uh, 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 Ifajuna to death by firing squad? The first gold medalist in the whole of Africa. One of the most brilliant military men this country has ever known. Can you tell me who judge him? Who is that court? Who is that court? And you wait, can you book it? Come here, Kebuna. You are my guy. We are wise, my brother. There is a difference between wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. No, they are not the same. No. So when you are asking for wisdom, you also need knowledge. And when knowledge come understanding is very important they are not the same thing that is how it happened these people have not done anything you know they cannot have run to social media we will catch you we will, go. we will kill you all of you are yoruba and then the question should be the one a bubago they declare wanted you see woman i punk chicken a dozen one Chicken, they do say, give us the name of Yoruba and I will sign the Bubago and we will go for them ourselves. But we know the game. All this thing is leading us to one end and one end alone. Now they kind of want to take total supremacy, total control of Biafra land. He will not do that. I swear, come to South South, for instance, and do this prem. You will run beyond your village, I promise you. Because you already know the game. But then the people of the South East say, Oh, one nanny, can you rap with our one nanny? When you are crying, we will still be looking at you. So we see me on the powers and ready and telling you, Now we are giving you order. We want to mourn our 14 brothers that were killed. There is a total shutdown here in Biafra land. All of you shut it down on Friday, shut it down in the Ara. And they are on social media. That is how their brain work. Oh, it's formidable. They are complying. If they comply or they didn't comply, will you give us Biafra? Or are we losing it already? Is it at home going to give us Biafra or suffering our people the more? I remember in those days, in this IPOB, when we want to do protests, there are always the background for mutual understanding. In this particular lockdown, we wrote later to market union, market leaders, civil servants, school proprietors, churches within that vicinity. And we told them if there is any reason why you will not comply, please let us know. The issue can be reviewed. I remember one of those women who is a school proprietor called us and said, I will truly love to support this seat at home. Most especially a Sanibu woman. They said, but Nigeria is aware of this. And they have written to all of us that if we shut down our school because of this order from IPUB, the school will be permanently shut down. So what do we do in this instance? We told, we said, there must be a way. There must be an excuse. And then the woman said, but there is a way we can boycott it i won't announce it i'll allow the student to come i know there is a law that says if your borehole is not functioning the student can't close so what the woman did was to call the plumber they disconnect the borehole i'm not to be saying this but i have to say it so our people understand that there is a way they do things the student gathered and then they were sent home and now nigeria said everybody must come to school and that school was shut down and then they called the woman why did it shut down he said no our borehole is poor the sumo went bad so we asked the children to go but others complied and nobody was hurt and they were happy they did i could remember then 
market leaders of Kronos, witness this is challenges. Will not push them into trouble. But I remember today, the time you sit at home, sit at home, where you don't sit at home, unknown government, instant security, who are your angels now? Storm of your angels trying to kill you, a Budago will kill you. Are you sitting at home because you like it? You are just sitting at home because you are compelled to sit at home. If you go out, you can be a casualty. That is why you are sitting at home. I said, oh, we are going to sit at home. We are going to sit at home, sit at home, sit at home. And you are sitting at home. Come and sit at home in the south, 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 south now. Since those of you, most of you in the southeast have decided to embrace this atrocity. Begin to sit at home. Very unfortunate. Ask yourself, why is it that from the day one introduction of a bubago, Nande Kano and his criminal gang have started attacking a bubago? Don't you think something is not right? And now they have been looking for a way to set up a bubago. Go and check even the Nigerian newspaper. From the inauguration of a bubago to this very moment, IPOB has issued more than 10 different press community threatening a bubago. So many of them threatening a bubago. And then one will begin to wonder what is all this about? Why are they threatening a bubago? For instance, two days ago, IPOB alleged through Guardian newspaper that a Bubago is a terrorist group. Again, IPOB dismissed the alleged killing of army. IPOB threatened to kill member of the new security outfit, a Bubago, and that is 14th of April 2021. Imo military, a Bubago behind attack and the killing, IPOB alleged. We will avenge house burnt in Imo State by Ibubago, the same IPUB, February 16, April 22, 2020. And I can begin to read how many times. It's no longer Fulani now. It's no longer DSS. It is no longer Nigerian terrorist army. It is no longer Nigerian police. It is now Ibubago. Do you know why? Because Ibubago has selected among the best of the best of the best of the best agitators. I want to be neutral. I want to stand with those who are neutral. I am not in on a revenge mission. If I was, I will join Nigeria and all of you in IPOB, I will smoke all of you out. I swear to God. But I won't do that. Not because I'm under oath. It is not noble for me to do that. And so I could join a Bubago. I could join any other group as far as I can get to you. That is why in most cases I say do not push me to go to our enemy to look for help. Because it's going to be very grievous. You won't survive it. I can assure you that. And so as a neutral man, I have to save you. Because in saving you, I am saving myself. But if it is something that is more than me, and then let God take all the glory. But the good news. That to serve the light. So we are not complaining. Why is IPOB in the canal after Ibubago? Because Ibubago is the one that knows their hiding place. Ibubago is choosing from among the people to protect the people from themselves. But he did not get it. They are now pushing it very hard. They are now conversing very hard. Their voice is very loud on social media. And most of you are buying into it. IPOB now is going to tell Nigerian Gota media that he said they lie. That Ibubago is a terrorist group. And yet IPOB is fighting to exonerate her atrocity of terrorism. Because IPOB is a terrorist group. It was first a pressure group fighting for self-determination. But later on was turned to a terrorist group. 
by the heinous crime committed by Inande Kano against his people. And of course, you cannot make any mistake about that. Evidence abound. We may argue it as much as we can, trying to exonerate Ananda Kano from such activities, criminal activities. But that POB have not been able to live up to the standard of the morality they claim to possess. But then who gives them the, the, the right to designate Ibubago as a terrorist? Just listen to me. I don't want to see any police checkpoints in Kakaland. If you come out, you will die. I don't want to see any police checkpoint anywhere. There are two things I don't want to see in Mongerabad. No checkpoints by the police of the army and no money in our land. And I want to reiterate once again, I don't want to see any police checkpoints in Kakaland. You will if you come out, you will die. You will die. Okay. So who is a terrorist here? I'm here to see a Bubago broadcast. Uh, Bubago, give us your own broadcast. Let's uh, check whether you are a terrorist. Ndibu. Ndibu. People of the Southeast. The only solution to this pending boom is ignore IPOB call to stop Bubago. You can overlook when they blackmail Nigerian DSS, Nigerian Army or Nigerian police. But blackmailing a bubago, they are shooting themselves on the leg. It will affect all of you. Because almost all the vigilantes in Biafra land have been incorporated. Among them, we have, we have Jimmy member, we have criminal minded individual. But this is our brother. When well, then the canoe lay the claim that yes, Fulani are in a Bubago, Yoruba and in a Bubago. Of course, these are some of the things we are fighting to extricate ourselves from this Nigerian mentality. Because we are slaves already. You can't build your own security outfit without the involvement of Aosa Fulani. But I do not think a Bubago or any other security outfit are there to kill their people rather than to protect their people. And this we should do vigorously, irrespective of whose earth is God. Why are we not talking about uh, Bakasi? The last time I went to Alioji, Abia Street, to the office of Bakasi, I saw Aosa people there. I was shocked. Now the county is from Abia State. And if you are listening to this broadcast, you are in Abia State, please go to Alioji now. Bakasi have office there now. Go there. Don't let them know what you are there to do. Look at the Bakasi boys. Our own Bakasi. Aosa people are there. Go and look at Niger Delta Militant. Go there. I will some people are there. The point is, why are they there? Are they there because we want them to be there? They are there because we have no option. If they are not there, Nigeria will kill everybody and tell you they are terrorists or they are anything they want you to believe they are. But a clear conscience says no accusation. So when they know we exist, it's okay to be sure that uh, what you say you are going to do is what you are doing. We are going to send people to represent us who will be giving us information on your activities. And of course, as a governor, you cannot turn off such offer. That means that platform is dead on arrival. So it's not as if Fernando Kano was lying. He said the truth. But my problem is presenting the truth garnished with lie. It's called deception. It's worse than lying. And so while all this thing is going on, this is where it's going to lead us to. The consequences of all this attack on Ibubago, if you neglect to do what is needful. Number one, IPOB will kill with impunity if you stop Ibubago, get ready for bloodshed. IPOB will kill with impunity. Who are they going to kill? Ibu people. They've now killed one fool and you. Forget about it. They go and buy cow from one of their Ibu brother that is Alamajiri. Most of you don't know we have Ibu men Katuriera now. Eh? Even in Anambra State. Go to Mbose. Less than half a kilometer from Benjamin Madubugu house. There is a cattle ranch in there. It belongs to Mbose man. Because when I saw you there, I said, Benjamin, know they see this uh, cattle ranch. You know, they see this cattle ranch. They say, by all one nine in where. Okay, so one nine is a meme full and investment or evil investment. Huh? So if you allow a bubago 
and you shut it down because of IPOB blackmail, because they are instigating the people now to say it's a bubago. These people don't even know who a bubago is. IPOB will kill the rest of you with impunity. They kill the pushing to the people. They kill the pushing to the people. Leave a bubago. If there is need to review their activities, do review their activity. I know most of you governors, your time is winding up already, so you don't care what happened, right? You got to care when the time comes. But if indeed you are a leader, you love your people, leave a bubago. And anybody that is coming up to become, to represent you in the upcoming election, leave a bubago. At least if you are changing the name, change the name, let that security be. With the level of exposure, connection, assimilation and assassination now they cannot have with some of you politicians you will still go to a beg buhari maybe tinubu will be the next president you will go and beg it oh baba tinubu give us political solution you stop a bubago ipob ipunk indigenous people of Funan the cano or tap up your freedom fighters association career freedom fighters association under the auspices of Igobo, Migobo, Igada, Migada, Autopilot, all of them will kill Igbo people with impunity. You come to think about it. Try and look at Simeon Ipa. Give him brokers of liberation, salvation. He talks authoritatively. He talks with impunity. He talks as if his father owned up to six plots of land that he inherited from his ancestors. He never did. Somewhere in Finland. Coming to tell you, as I'm giving you this order now, the march bay, the lockdown, and so I begin to wonder how do we listen? Because I'm watching a key, watching a key, there shall be lockdown at Toro everywhere. Those of you hacking the Facebook, I'm still there. Are you not yet able to shut it down? Now you get the point. I won't tell you what to do. Begin to track animals everywhere. That is what the Kano does. Let me digress a little bit. All those of you hopeless hiker, hired by IPOB, with our monthly due, let me tell you, nobody has monopoly of knowledge. The person will do gun, I do bulletproof. And now you get the point. Be hiking, be deceiving yourself. I will face these challenges, but I will be able to come of age to suppress you permanently. Don't you see my Facebook? Only one follower. But at the end of the day, I have how many million viewing what I'm saying. But I have only one follower in the Atoro. Is that not what you want to hear? So in case you want killing with impunity as you have not seen before, stop it, Bubago. Mark this day. Because it will come to pass. Go back to my broadcast uh, December 22. 2021. We talked about the Bubago. I told you what is playing out now. Now, if you want to land the canoe to kill Igbo people with impunity, my guy, stop a Bubago. We are here to give the update. Number two consequences. If you neglect this advice, I'm now talking to governors and those who are responsible in organizing our community on day to day basis. IPOB terrorist group. We'll stop the upcoming election without anybody checkmating them. They are not saying anything because it's not yet time. They are mapping our strategy. When they sit down to discuss about what they do, you think they want election to take place when they have not settled on the canal? My brother, got that money keep. And where you are close because IPOB will soon come out. From next year, IPOB will start coming out openly. No election in Biafra la. Who need to have vote on our guasa? Who need to have vote on our guasa? Who need to have vote on our guasa? At that moment, it's simple thing. Once they kill three market people, kill four church member, kill six fulani, just kill, kill, kill strategic location. Twelve hit, twelve men dead. It doesn't matter. But they have sent the signal. All of you will suffer the consequence of the ripple effect. And what do they do? They sit back. The next time they say, ah, you know, go market. I know go feel go, my brother made them no kill me. After all, the one with the key, waiting government do. And then when they hit the church, the next day, that is when you will know that scripture that say, church is in the heart. 
you tell your neighbor are you people not going to church say my brother church is in the heart and we are praying in the house now you have no choice the only thing you are going to do at that moment because you do not have uh, 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 any strategic plan to improvise in a, ca a case like this we are telling you what is going to come and so you are going to call on the canal that is exactly what you want and i say please now one name I may fight to an alcohol, call do not but as in the Budanian now, none the can pick no because okay, K Fisho, K Fisho, so you see, him and all Macono, all Macono, I would even want you, if any anime or the wrong mau, eh, him aquema. You say, oh, you go one day, we will like, I need Chamano, oh, 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 who was in your bustling jiba, I need Chamano, okay, 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 I may to. I'm an able go and do three and uh, other inconveniences. Oh, Mr. I guess it's in 20 billion US dollar. In Ugo Biko, when you work on mobility, can you make for a Kawazi Nunu? He may make it progress. I am a acquire, uh -huh. but will that stop insecurity? This is the same thing all of you are doing. That is why Fulani are messing all of us up. Come and mess your people up. Does he really concern me? I'm telling you the truth because you are involved in this. They will hold all of you a transform. Nobody will checkmate them. Today, unknown government, Tinas and Woru, Shimeon Ekpa, all the criminals like okay for and all of them that are yapping. Oh, we are formidable, we are formidable. They know that there are things that bombast at night, and there are people that respond to them. Now they can't function effectively. It affecting their efficiency when it comes to killing their own people. Cannibals everywhere. And so what did they do? Their strategy, they are coming out already. And they are getting most of our uninformed brothers and sisters. And you are shouting already, stop a bubago, stop a bubago. They will intimidate all of you governors. And then you are coming to issue press statement in no day from now. We have thereby suspended the activities of a bubago in Biafra. Now, get ready for this chapter. Try it and get ready. We shall be here to give updates. Nikume, Nikume, Yakunyaraja Bofia. Number three consequence you should understand that if you buy in, if you let yourself, you succumb to the blackmail of IPOB directly against a bubago, is that IPOB will have opportunity to extend their arm of debt to the people. Just, just try it. The way they kill it will expand, it will escalate. Because nobody will be there to check me there. All of you governors, you know the sacrifice you are making to bring even the relative peace we are enjoying in the southeast. We know. We know everything you are doing, all the sacrifice. We know. Most of them are not things you actually wanted. But your sacrifice are paying off. At least, the last time I checked, Igbo people are still at home. And if care is not taken, you succumb to Nandekano and his bingo social media idiot blackmail. They will run out. And I think Yoruba is getting ready to buy Ibu land now. How Saful and you are buying already. And then when they run, they are living in other neighboring communities, neighboring states. I shall see the Biafra you are fighting for. I shall see that. If the people of Ijo are not paying attention to their territory, by now they would have tell you waterway, reserve bridging, taking over the whole land by the riverside. There is so much happening in our land. You people cannot succumb to blackmail of Unandekano. We already know the truth. And we are here to defend that truth. And that is if you are truthful. And of course, the fourth consequence, which must come without fear, is that those in the southeast will stand against them will be destroyed if you stop a bubago <laughs> oh i'm very sure you don't know what is coming let's stop it here this evening other region will blame all of you for this carnage, if you stop Ibubago, that is the ripple effect. 
when they escalate this their killing fellowship of the hand of death across to the people of the southeast other region will be blaming all of you and then they the cause are now because they already know the truth now the cannot can basi kasika from now to tomorrow morning we already know the truth the bubago security must remain and those young boys romancing with ipob i brought your life worth more than two thousand naira recharge card your life worth more than house rent because some of you they pay house rent for you they try to see if they are supporting you if people like us Abraham, can begin to initiate process where they will be taking our daughters from university in the southeast to become weapon they select some fine fine girls to go and be sleeping with politicians so that they can get to the politicians eh? to eat apple are uh, uh, you 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 let me not use bad words for you you, you think you are the one they are going to prove that as us one is biafran students how do we call them voice of biafran students why are they called all of a sudden those people you and amarachi and the rest are trying to groom to weaponize them people's daughter we already know weaponize them give them hiv go and send them out out all everywhere is it you ordinary you that they are going to spare if people can't even see the atrocity coming up but i won't go beyond this this evening i want to believe the message is passed those who have here let them hear those who don't have here may the lord be with you latin people will see benedictions do us in sakula at this moment our lines are open it's a whatsapp line at least for today if you're able to call in to make your contribution, please do. The number is 90 380 90 You're free to call in and make your contribution. But in the absence of that, of course, I won't wait much time. I'll log off and then we we'll go back to our duty post. We will still be a friend watchman. I hope you have not forgotten. You can get us on FM across Biafra land, some part of Anambra, some part of Delta State, some part of River State, some part of Enugu, some part of Bayasa State, some part of River State, and of course, more are coming. Gentlemen, Otokona do, they are busy doing their job gradually. You will hear this gospel, and in the end, Biafra will come. Follow us on our Facebook page, IPOB Media Warrior. When you comment good thing here, just check, they will not inbox you. Why are you talking to those people? Don't you know they are Nigerian paid agent? Don't to disassociate, unfriend them. That is what they are telling you. Oh, when they be Baba we are here. You get the point now. You can visit us on the website, we're on satellite. Understand, we are not here to undermine anybody. We simply want to be the author of our destiny. The lines are open. You are encouraged to call in and make your contribution. Like I said, in the absence of that, we will wind up. But I'm joined by one of my brother, Udugu himself. Can you hear me, Udugu? Yes, good evening, Joe. <laughs> Go ahead, please. The word is listening. Yeah, good evening, everyone listening. Good morning and good afternoon, depending on your time zone. So, this is your brother. I will lay games on back. So, I want to commend you for your uh, steadfast in the uh, enlightenment and opening the eyes of uh, the support for misguided uh, brothers and sisters who don't already understand what is going on back home you know it is they think it's about it's about attaching emotions and sentiment apart look at you just you listen, 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 listen to the clip you played you are their you are their messiah their savior they are god who 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 dies was threatening uh 
a security avenue which was meant to which was meant to uh, check meant insecurity in the land now why should a genuine human being on earth be threatening a, a security outfit now this one he said he said terrorist uh, and they have done the with police uh, the army have done the with army now your own governor set up your with fun, with the help of the political class and the king set up a security outfit now this is local now look at these are your brothers you know you know who they are and you, you came on radio started ranting and threatening them that you're going to kill them because they're going to kill them now do, what what implication are you directly what what, what is the message you're trying to drive back home now that those who came to check out this security to be killed because you are the one that is feeling the insecurity in the first place so they should they should kill them that's what it means for the idiots who man they can't the man man they can't know like when they're in the world said i'll be in the because that's what it is you don't want to say three million people but you don't know the, the name of a big man you know there's don't think criminal a thief and i'm rubber but a big man is a deep one that one it's wrong rogue it's a rogue that one the criminality runs in those such people's blood when they call somebody a billima. It runs in their blood. Look at their family lineage. Brother, a billima. Chief, father, a billima. Mother, a billima. Sister, the one who is in police is a billima. Chief, family of chiefs. Oh, and you come on radio and threaten the security outfit. And this, oh, oh, to, to even make the matter worse, the just sister is serving in, in the general police. And they've not killed her since it is a terrorist police, as he said. Why did he, he did, why did he not order for the killing of the sister? And since this sister is true, at least this sister should be part of the terrorist after she is the coordinator of uh, an umbra um, in Uganda. So, uh, why did he not go after the sister? Somebody set up a security outfit, not somebody, a governor. It is constituted, the law recognizes that. And you say no, you are a god. You are going to decide who, who, who rich and who die, what should be said and what should not be said in this. Just imagine uh, Ibuhu coming out to say, We will kill Omotako. Omotako are criminal. Anywhere you see Omotako, kill Omotako. Do you think Ibuhu will even do that, even though they are all Yahoo Yahoo? Do you think? As a new Ibra, he's a Messiah, he's a holy. Ndiara. Go ahead, please, my brother. Sorry for interrupting. Bro. No problem, but you know, I, honestly, and people, I don't know what has become their mental, psychological, and other that where they can't reason again. You are seeing a very a truth. You don't even need me not to check it out. You are seeing a this on your arms. You can hear him say it. That you should, you should kill a good bad boy. What have those guys done to you? Are you the one for you security? Why should you, should you be insecure that they set up a security in the first place? Just like me. And my father coming to tell me that uh, he's going to, uh, he's going to get a, 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 a rush guard or gate man to secure our gates. Since um, we are experiencing a little uh, insecurity in our compound, then I tell, I tell my father, no, that won't happen. That will kill the gate man. That is the thief. That's why it means people don't, people don't understand what that connotes. It connotes that and you know that it is that person that is telling that thing should not be suffered by it. It's really me doing security. And somebody is going is going jumping up and dying. We need a political solution. Political solution kill that person there. These guys are heartless men for the for crying out loud. You talk about the criminal, freedom of the criminal, the man and the kind of, but don't talk about justice for the victims of those who killed, the ones that are serving in the police, those serving in the army, navy, uh, civil defense, even those safety, those safety, you all know these guys are unarmed, if they don't even have a common, uh, even spoon, kitchen spoon, kitchen spoon, they don't have it on their pocket yet, you still, you still, all that boy, your dream goes to go and kill those guys. And somebody, you know, I think that I, I come to speak for organization, you know, that freedom fighter, what kind of useless uh, autopia to freedom fighters are they? These are criminals, and they should be regarded as that. There's no two ways about you. You can't sugar to us in order to make some people feel happy. Yes, now you, now you, no, say the truth. 
the truth remains the truth that you know, and who's been with China, and who will bend them in the world. You will share one with the proper name. Let's call them by their proper name. Because so we are calling this the AKA. People who understand, you will share one. And that criminal that almost come from his location, Rabbi Shas with the name Siri. Siri, I'll, I'll get the, I have, I, I, they, they took all these videos they deleted. We don't have it. We store those things, your information, so people are releasing. We have them all well stored. So there's no, I'll, I'll still go, go, go back to those. So people should suppress criminality from freedom of fighting. Currently, what's happening in IPOC and, and their bingos, we do have uh, a do have uh, uh, autopilot or whatever. These are criminals, they be myself selected carefully for them for him for, for them to complete this mission for him. His time is up and he must be the to be safe. Do you know most of those uh Nanda Kano recruited social media were incorporated or rather extracted from show or red social media platform? Do you know most of them? People like Fit Ogala were out for show or huh? Now they can't romance with Yoruba to give us Biafra. Who the heck? Even devil will want us to have Biafra, not Yoruba. We'll be deceiving ourselves here. But it's no offense anyway. That is how it should be. Nobody kills a, a, a rat, a, a rabbit, and then you want it to escape. You got to remain in the cage until you get to your tummy. And so we understand the role they are playing. And we're not questioning them for that. But for our own brother now to be telling us that this hunter that just caught us is going to build house for us, will do wedding for us, make us comfortable. That person is the real killer. Go ahead, my brother. Just imagine how they are trying to criminalize a Ibubabu and a Putin's or Nima, trying to vilify him for fighting insecurity, giving, giving these criminals fights that they, they really deserve for fighting for st standing firm for his people i love what that currently is happening in Imo state and uh, some part of anambar who knows sometimes so Ludo always play that a uh, hanky panky game you know but i like what is happening i think it is either it is you or is you know, that said how come people that went for uh, a, 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 a traditional marriage there's no single lady inside those people and so on somebody and for if you, if you see how these people, there might be innocent people there, fine and good, we, we might, we, it, it is all part of the warfare. If you look at the first broadcast on that issue, I told that, I said, I told that for them, don't be surprised, about eight or nine of them are innocent persons. Whoever killed them was actually looking for a particular set of deadly criminal, unveil the identity of these people, you will see is the truth. But now, because they don't know who is who among them, all of them will have to bear the brunt. When DSS arrested me, for instance, I said over 30 DSS with more than 14 black jeep tinted glass. You will think I'm one international, maybe Saddam Hussein, one classified terrorist according to European nation. You will think that is what I am. Because the information they have, it looks like I have rocket launcher. I'm the one in, in charge of five POB ammo tanker. That one and the can we say we bought in Brazil. And so if something happened that day, let me just say it so people understand why we ask them to disassociate from my POB. Did you know when these people picked me up, they moved me out of my car and then into their own one of those jeeps? They hung up me, my hand behind, and then there were two people sitting by my left and by my right, with uh, the driver at the front and another person sitting at the front. And then my concern was that nobody knew I had been picked up, and so anything can happen. And so I needed a way to raise alarm so people will know what was actually going on. We would drive a while. I noticed that my hand cup have loosed. I now remove my hand gradually. I now heard one of those DSS which is gone. They, are, they may be listening. They know I didn't tell lies. I now heard that one which is gone. Put it on the driver's neck. And say stop this moto. Stop this moto. And then the other two tell me calm down. 
they were not even aggressive they say calm down and then from a distance i begin to hear guns you know cracking of a gun it was a tinted car i looked back i saw many jeeps behind me i was thinking it's only that one it was up to like seven all the dss agents inside have lighted down position themselves where i'm telling you is in port Harcourt, around the water line the moment you are climbing the flyover to descend from uh, uh fcc bus stop they get about on top of that bridge that area where the those of you who know port Harcourt, that area where they sell all your servicing equipment on top of that bridge and i looked at the front and i saw the same thing has happened and i was able to understand that they actually stage manage me if i have lighted down out of that car they will shoot me nonsense so what did i do i now drop left the one i held and one of them say what you be one do i said this say will be kidnapper but as i don't see this gun i know say will be dss because nearly dss they carry this gun they didn't say anything that was when they hung up me i now knew that they actually wanted to see my performance that is why when they took me to the office they were looking at me as a gentleman and one of them said oh god that man is dangerous so you people shift don't hear him that man is dangerous in fact they tear my motor to pieces to see tools arms and ammunition and what i'm saying is if i have lighted down you didn't know that i had heard one dss to wrestle with their gun if i have lighted down they will kill me and most people killing me will think i am a criminal and most of those people killed in emo state i cannot agree that 11 14 of them were criminals innocent people are there today look at people insulting me on social media majority of them don't even know what is happening look at see me on about them you go to me go do them i got a me got at them you know you fool with them i die with them they don't even know anything about that they are the one now uh, people like uh okay foreign them rabbi charles them i am the first person to introduce rabbi charles to his brother benjamin Madubugu. and the person that brought the uh, okay foreign to ipub but today now they are the one telling you the background of ipub and so many ignorant people out of stupidity and foolishness are associating and identifying with these atrocities what do you expect as you are speaking now ipub is having secret meeting everywhere in biafra land they pretend they are church people they pretend they are meeting people all those stuff nigeria no but just that when they profile the people there they see these people are innocent they leave them the day one unknown government will come to your meeting and you don't know it's unknown government all of you just write your death warrant we say disassociate from ipud you think you will go you know go consign us we're doing what we're supposed to do so those people killed in emo state there are terrorists criminals among them and that is why we call nigerian if they will listen if they don't want to listen they think that uh, shoot them will end this thing let them continue we shall see how it ends the secret of the night is best known to the hour bring people to justice bring out these people let let everybody pay for what you have done if they found it guilty let them pay go ahead my brother Yes, yeah, yeah, because I was going to suppose uh, your statement yesterday when you said when you said that something about the DSS, you know, cannot shoot people like that, except those people must have attacked somewhere and the the the, the, the those guys were first and uh counter attack them back. And of which is it's a statement of fact. It is true. The the the, 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 the DSS we all know don't don't just go and start attacking people. They, they, rather they will pick you and run in on you and this is, is, is the same is applicable to the army police and the rest only few you know there are few uh corrupt uh, in the few corrupt cops everywhere is in 
it all, all over the world. It, it's not just about the Nigerian police army or whatever. It's all over the world. But currently, their actions are justified if anyone is killed due to the individual and criminality of where it is not like the is being robust. Their actions are justified. Nobody is going to be thinking about this person is innocent, this person is not innocent because the truth is, you don't know who is who anymore. You don't know who is who anymore. This, this thing was not happening until they introduced this criminality. Okay, now, let's, let's talk about uh, um, court, let's, as you, the court is the issue we have in that state. We know that when courtesies are doing their killing, people know because they don't go to the market to attack anybody, they take to shut their market down. No, they don't do such thing. They, they, don't, they don't go after women, men and women. They go after young guys who they are having the problems with. And uh, sometimes it is sometimes political also because they use them as, as political bandits also. They use them to attack. I think they are opening politically. So, when some things happen, we know. So, call, what is calling me up in South East is caused by African bingos. Who is everything is well carefully managed and orchestrated by the human resource. So, people should rise up and speak and defend this, whether it is a Bible, because so, from last time, I, I don't think there's anything like a Bible in most states. I, as far as I'm going to but I don't know if they have started working, but I know who is on the market there. You don't need anything in the bag, I don't know if it's working now. So the truth is, these guys, people should rise up and defend this security act, whether it is DSS that carry their operation or the bag, they should rise up and that the truth, whether it is the IMF, that the truth it is all part of. They are victims of the circumstances of war. It's bound to happen when even criminality and insecurity arises in places. Such things are, are bound to happen. That is why occurring people disassociate themselves from anything criminal activities of IPOC and their supporters. Leave them. If you are genuinely fighting for, let's say, if you are fighting for Epilima, uh, it's fine and good. Go and fight for him. There are, there are several ways to do if you believe that he's innocent. Then he go to court and let him do his point. At this point, everything they say about Buhari, Buhari is what is that? I see, I mean, in case now, I see Buhari as a, um, as a moral man. But we give him the, in my second time, he, he starts to defend himself in the court. Stating from the, from, uh, since Buhari has said in the past, when he said they are seriously. Announce it well as a modern man now. For me, the, 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 the second chance, he should have said more restraint by recycling the thing and, and the, the, the story ends. Nobody is going to talk about him again. People are talking that he was arrested in Kenya. What was he doing in Kenya? He said something about his parents. <laughs> he said something about his parents one time. And, and, and I'm navigating towards that area. People to find out if only the colonel parents was buried in Afari Biku. If any of them who went to that burial saw flight of their dead body in that coffin, rubbish people. We are waiting for none the colonel, let him come out and broadcast. You know, when you talk about storing their audio, we keep it for none the colonel. When we broke a tell lie, we play this other version of life for him. He's not going anywhere. Go ahead, please. So people must rise up and defend this criminality. Nobody is, I hate this back, if, if, if we are talking about the African education, nobody was shooting anybody, nobody was killing anybody. Only the highest they can do is to arrest. The highest they can do is to arrest you, then they take you to court and the state just continue back and forth until the criminality was introduced by a man himself. He carefully orchestrated that. To show that you have nothing to offer, you came for to scam people. It, it, it's not, but it's not that I personally can rise up and say I want my, I, I, the, I want my own father's compound to be my own, my own nation. Nobody, no, nobody's gonna kill me. It's what I want. Maybe my father will say no, I don't want it. I cannot be part of that your nation. Maybe let's do the nation. I can rise up and say no. It's not my own house. You have to do, you have to do and do that. It, you know, I'm justifying my action, my father is justified. 
So if anybody is fighting for you, if fighting for Biafra, you are fighting for Niger Delta Republic, you are fighting for you, I got a nigga, but you could even go, I don't have many problems, but how you go about your activities, you saw, so, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm having a problem with it. When you introduce minority lies, you see, I'm having a problem, or when you use your, when your own right to trade this on my own right, I'm st I will start having a problem with you there. So that's why I must encourage our people. This thing, 2023 is here, you know? Get involved with your local politics, you know? Get involved there. When you talk to your local government, your local government chairman, he has an of potentials. The money, those guys receive up to 700 million naira every month as the allocation. Then I will, I will, I will, I will get the, I will get the exact data they receive. I will get the exact data and break it down. I will, I will share it, I will share it to people. So you know that, do you have it? If you give your place, give your locality, your local government chairman, your house of rep member, your governors, your governors are the, the people that are, are even supposed to Invest in you more. That is where you should channel your energy on not the federal. When you are done with the state, when you are done with the state and it, you, are, you, are, you are justified that now you do not feel sense of uh, uh, marginalization that there are some things that the federal government should be doing and we of which are not doing. Like we always say that if you go to Abia State currently, the federal project there is 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 two than the state project. Our fish is true, our fish is true. So these are things you are talking about. Now, if, 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 I'm talk, if you are talking about good governance, good governance, good governance, we have to encourage our people because I, I preach for good governance. Criminality has no tribe or religion. It has no tribe or religion. Just that the last time, some of the things we are facing currently, all of, all of Africa, in Nigeria, in our land, and then, you know, it, it, some of them are international. You know, some of them, there's no place you have a, or, or you have oil that is peaceful. Those, no, no community. Go to Delta State, this, those communities are fighting each other. They are fighting each other. This one says, this one belongs to our, this one belongs it's our, it's our people. It's our people. It's, it's, it's our belongs to our father. They are fighting all over the world. Those places you have for you, they, 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 it is never peace. Look at um, um, uh, 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 Iraq now. Look at what is happening in Iraq, Amen. Look at what is happening in, in Venezuela. It, it, it can, can never have freedom. They never allow you to have that freedom because they must suffer you. They must impoverish you. So I thought these are some of the things we should implement secure our place on any form of criminality because. We have the potential to control such activities when uh, there's an invasion by any criminal to terrorize our land. These are some of the things we, should, we have the capacity to contain them from doing such things. But what are we doing? We open doors for them. We open doors for such criminality, for such chances. You think uh, to stop criminality and insecurity in the land is just something you can stop in a day? This thing they are saying is not gonna end is not gonna end now because those who will kill their brothers and sisters, they are gonna come for you. That is one thing I said. They are gonna come for you, those who kill their brothers and sisters. You are fighting for, for Biafra. Hey, now that we use it to do agitation, not the enough. That we use it to do agitation. Did you even hear what uh you see told you before? Now the idiot you see my for God when he was he was saying it my smiling, it my smiling. Did yeah, anybody train him in his own place there? Mm -hmm. We have a lot of people from our people that we are against it also. You say you are concerned about it in the Hebrew land anywhere. We are against the day kill any of you when you are supporting the animal. So why is it that now you stop supporting the, the, the animal? You know, maybe your eye open now. You are now calling for the death of other people that uh, have their eyes off, not open also. Whatever everyone, everyone believes is illegal. The person, the person is attached to his opinion. And you are so are you, you are also entitled to your own opinion. Okay? So stop killing people and stop uh, dragging the agitation to evil agitation. We all we'll pray for good, seek for good governance. I don't believe in pray in, in this we can actually do with our PVC and getting involved in our, with our local politics. But unfortunately, the Ima is, is pushing everything down to evil agitation. <laughs> of which we are going to resist such uh, things because we need good governance. 
He goes to me to collect money and he tells them, don't, 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 uh, don't go near politicians, they are evil, they are that. And he goes, he does opposite of what he says. Yeah, but let me hang up so that people can come in and make their own contribution. But before I go, I just want to thank, uh, thank everyone that is uh, speaking against this criminality in the land. Thank you very much, Joba. Thank you, thank you, thank you, my brother. And of course, we continue to tell the people the truth. Like I have said, it is very simple. The people of the Southeast, the people in the Southeast, should get ready for another stage of insecurity they have not seen before and that is if the leadership of the southeast succumb to the blackmail on a bubago by inland Kano and his otapia pia freedom fighters get ready because most of you, you you don't know who is protecting you from the real enemy which is inland Kano and his bingos everywhere just be shouting because we don't know they have gone to so cloth and they come to street in any basically and they say we are no we are you don't know how the function we know how the function i'm joined by agonwani can you hear me agonwani yes sir good evening sir from here good evening Ada. welcome to the program go ahead please thank you sir i say good evening good morning Good afternoon and good night, depending on your time zone. To all the true lovers of freedom and the genuine agitators, assuming your days belong. Therefore, I greet you, sir, for the good work you're doing. Tonight, I hope you always in the spirit, as I say. Those that do not go, they do not know. I know my network is always very good. Whenever there are recent TV issue, it will be disturbing itself. But this message must be preached as some was. You know, those that we are not around or that are not on ground, they may not understand. All the social media viewers and the commentators, they don't actually know what is going on. If we, you will trace back when this thing started, you will find out that there is no any other security outfit that the Leviathan wanted to exist. Even the Nigerian own, Nigerians own that are sovereign state of their own. He never wanted it to exist without knowing full well that there is hidden agenda under his under his uh, cupboard. He knew what he came to do, and that's why he wanted the whole area to be free for him to execute his atrocities. You could remember when Obioso of Onisha, the 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 the, 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 the Obi of Onisha, uh, launched a security outfit. This guy was on the day saying all manner of things against him and saying how they are going to deal with them and do away with them. Then it appears as if he, he now, they now succumbed to his threat. The thing is no more working. You could remember during uh, the uh, 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 rift uh, for one for reason. The same and embraced it. They launched one security outfit one certain time. It was not up to two, uh, a, a week. These people went and burnt his uh, palace down because of those uh, security outfit they launched. You could remember there's another group called the uh, uh, Biafra people army. When they showcased their own somehow. A Perima cried out blood. If you look at the video, you will see the frustration all over him and all manner of things he was saying that day. Because he thought that these people are coming to be a threat to him. He won't
make a video to explain how he they tried to come to his own place to threaten his own men. They overpowered them. They now went back. Now comes the bag. He cried out to blood again when he heard of a bag. But one thing is that he didn't know that there is difference between an established and inaugurated security outfit from government than a legal outfit from one salatan that is not a stakeholder. You are not even a, a, a local government chairman before. Your father is just a warrant chief given to him just yesterday by Onjo Zokalo. He told that he has arrived. He, they, no matter how they cry, they cry out to their blood and they, everything. There was a time they concocted and sent one of their colleagues to go and um, make this thing as a, a bill, present it as a bill in the National Assembly on how to scrap out a bag. It did not work for them. Then along the line, they started blackmailing and their propaganda. Why? Because they could not penetrate the place that the thing is really working. The only thing I will tell them that no matter their propaganda, that that Ibubagi has been inaugurated and uh, endorsed by Nigerian government, the way and also the states that they operate, the way they did to Amotaku. There is nothing they can do to that. They thought that everybody is so cheap and so naive and so blindfolded and brainwashed as they are. They didn't know that there are some people that knows what they are doing. And there are some people that does things at the dark for the light to stand. All those their pro Facebook propaganda, they started it since 2011 or thereabout to today. Where has it taken them to? Has, has it achieved anything for them? No. Rather, they are depreciating and uh, depreciating every day and uh, going align alignment like the uh, 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 soul of a, 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 a soup. All their what, all their dignity and uh, integrity is being watered down the stream. They are mounted to nothing. Now, people will laugh over it. And there, they think the same thing. They aren't turning any ground. Look at the other small mortars bottle. You are issuing all that to your ancestors. They land them. Lock, key locked, locked and key locked and you see you go. Do your father have any any investment in the in in, in Gaza land, or because you managed to follow the Sahara Desert and uh, follow what you have to where you find yourself and get to your uh, uh, ancestors you are living with you call wife. Whether they are they are they are adopted the child is always focusing on social media that is this is so or only God knows what they did to have it. You yeah, are there issuing threats, issuing order to people that you can't even lose the the the, 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 the leader of the asunder. I will not blame anybody. Any of them that are opportune to travel out of the country, they will be there calling themselves what they are not. Showcasing what they are not. But those that know what is going on, know what is going on. Let them come to the place that a bag has a root and they speak to their stupidity. That's what is pending there because they have found out that most of all those people that are there are the people that know them and know what they know and them they are equal to the tax. In whichever place they put it, they will answer them. Let them come in. Like the, 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 the governor, they are using their name to make mockery on the social media, talking all manner of roads. I don't know why our people have uh, this, uh, have relented them, uh, that is, desecrated themselves and made themselves so cheap. 
to this level. They are the Yoruba, they are the Sawusa, they are the Sibu, they are the selection on the corner. And every other tribe is maintaining their status quo, looking beyond the Facebook matter, trying to put things in order and for them to get what they want. Our own people is all over social media. People that are thought that they had integrity and that they are wise enough, that they are knowledgeable. Now I came to find out that many of them are still the same thing with the same mentality of a perima. Because that social media work and propaganda of photoshopping is where he started he, when he brainwashed everybody and put us to where we find ourselves today. And I'm so much bitter to see our everybody the men are thought that there are something to write home about making the same propaganda and the same photoshop on social media today my heart bleeds i thought that we are trustworthy people we are honest people politics is is a game of number and a game of strategy it depends on how you strategize your own, not blackmailing somebody and making caricature and mockery of somebody. That is not politics. There are a way you will put it and do it and you want people to your side and it will work for you. You do it by evidence, showcase your evidence and tell people whom you are and what you are there to do and what you can do to people and with that trustworthiness and integrity, people will be on your side. But the thing that baffles me is that even the people that are there fighting for that presidential level. Some of them are not even making the noise that the people that claim they are supporting them are making on social media. Do they think that all those Photoshop and all those mockery and rubbish they say on social media is the thing that we give to them what they are looking at? And I'm beginning to suspect that many of them have collected money from these politicians coming up to be yapping all manner of things. But at the end, they just will take the lead. Lies and propaganda may fly everywhere, but truth always stands tall. Whoever that comes with good intention and to make our land good again, the Okikekeroa must see that person through. Anybody that came with every intention the way a perima did to push us to the corner now, God must expose that person the way he's exposing a perima and his uh, cohort now. Anybody that makes social media man as his uh, as his number one priority and uh, f not in truth and honesty, but with Photoshop and propaganda and mockery, that person is not my fan because I have seen it in a period and any time I remember all the brainwashing and all what we were told, and today all of them is vanity. I don't buy the idea again. I don't know how, when and how it will reach. According by our daddy in the Lord, he always talk about 5W. If you really reason and uh, work with that 5W within yourself, even not just going to ask anybody, why, when, where, and uh, um, uh, who, who, where, when, why? There are many W's that can be attached, but that five first, you will not understand where we are heading to. First of all, ask yourselves all those questions. Why am I doing this? Why do I believe this person? Who is that person I'm believing? Where did he start? And when? And what? was he or she doing that brought him to where he is now? Osiban Shot then said that's that's the thing that that's what brought us to where we where we are where we are where is the W the five W he was trying to still analyze there where we are where we are where we are where and the the thing went viral at that time. There are certain things that brought us to where we are today. 
and we have already forgotten so soon that is this black men and propaganda and photoshopping and the doc video doctor uh, doctoring of videos going to pick all the video from another country and come and doctor it and superpose their own language upon and other people's uh, language meet that one and superpose their own and then uh, start showcasing it as if it's the thing that just happened yesterday that's what brought us to where we are today and uh, we never still want to learn yes something happened they are killing our children and we are not happy about it but any of them that is evil whatever you sow you must reap and all those people that are shouting and propagating all those lies going to do this and that where we are there when all this evil have been happening in their land so they have youth you to just sprout up like a mushroom from ground overnight they have youth and all these things have been happening in their state it, their state has been turned to war zone and they never thought about it they never did anything about it so all of a sudden now they have youth all those youth they have skeletons on their cupboards and they must be investigated they thought that no matter how black men or to shout and cry ginger weed ginger weed villain hate men ginger weed this and that the zoos they don't do this they don't know they know something more than him all those deals uh, arranging with them now if he thinks that he is more smart than them they are piling it up for him but when the jungle matures monkey will go market it will not come back again let them continue and let those this uh, book of uh, uh, revelation said it let those that are doing evil let them continue let those that are doing good let them continue the day of the lord is coming the day of his uh, reward is coming he's coming very soon to reward everybody according to their own stigma and worship let them continue continue photoshopping continue doing propaganda thinking that by uh, uh, by mock making mockery of somebody on saying rubbish on, on the social media we make the person to stay back you don't know how far that person have gone you don't know the things on ground all of you are on social media why you are your ground is shallow the one we will learn from the past mistakes if we fail to learn from the past mistakes we will continue doing things the same way then i'll be expecting different results never work that way uh i don't just have much to say today I just want to appreciate you for the good work you are doing. You are, you are really a reverend indeed. Because those that have the designing spirit before they come out to talk, you will know. There are some people that our uh, 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 creator is actually using to, to do the needful. There are some people that does not just follow because people are saying, uh, because there are millions saying one thing then i will get up and follow you and be saying it without knowing the reason why i'm saying it there are some people that god have this this denoted to say things from afar before they will start make commenting on it and i know we have people like that in bna i thank god for bna family and let them continue like that with truthness truthfulness and the holiness there is nothing like transparency honesty and then um, truthfulness and being responsible and accountable accountable to whichever thing you did be accountable accountability matters any offense you one committed if you are found guilty you you you, you ap ap apologize and uh, we move on again but standing or being found wanting and then you still stand there grand claiming that you are right no man is perfect nobody knows it all in right hand must wash left hand and the left hand will wash hand uh, uh, right hand again before the two hands will be clean let all of us continue we will continue we will keep on keeping on we are not relenting and this message will continue to be preached when our 
the, 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 the old book led me to understand that God said that he may grant our heart desire for our joy to be complete. And I know our highest desire, the restoration of our nation, our holy nation, the land of the rising sun. And when that is done, all our joy by then will be complete. And I know Kike Kerua will do it for us because millions have gone because of this. All those people dancing masquerade on the road and the ones dancing naked and all manner of people that we are uh, uh, we are recruited to come and change the narratives so that whenever you mention that name Biafra, it will now become an object of caricature. It will not work for them. Our ancestors have ordained it when we are there before the creation of Nigeria and the purpose in which we are looking for our land will be achieved. And by then we beat our chest and tell the next generation that it has been done. And God, as God lives, he will help us and he will see us through. Thank you for the good work you are doing. And good night from here, sir. Bye for now. Thank you very much, Agawani. We must continue to stand on the line of defense on behalf of our people. And of course, at this moment, we are inching closer to the end of this program. Tomorrow is another day we continue from where we stop. Some of you are hiding and somewhere along the line you don't want to offend anybody. Everybody has been offended already. And once again, I must remind those who are in charge of leadership within the Biafran territory, most especially the Southeast. Everybody there gets ready for the next stage of insecurity. You see, your non government are not actually doing anything. Because fundraising has been laid down. Or for or non government don't have any hiding place. Because some members of Ibubago are doing their job. The non government are not beheading people, they are not killing again, they are not raping again. Business is not as good as usual. And people have to be good. They are lamenting, hey, Bubago, hey, Bubago, hey, Bubago. If you can tell me what a Bubago did when you land a canoe threatening to kill all of them. Good night from here. Tomorrow is another day. We'll continue from where.